Hello guys, so my name is Yelita Brillian. I'm the owner of Brillian Massage and Skin Care. I'm also a licensed esthetician, massage therapist, and yes, this is a wig. Anyways, um, what is hyaluronic acid in this video? Um, you probably seen, uh, or maybe you have not, but if you uh, use skincare, you might have used it in the past. It's very common ingredient. I'm not really sure when it really rose to popularity, but you can find it literally in everything. Toners, moisturizers, creams, face wash. They even have, they do face fillers. I don't have them. We don't perform face fillers, but they use them in um, in a way that it uh, draws moisture and it kind of plumps up certain areas. I think it's called well, it doesn't matter. But a hyaluronic acid, it can be synthesized or natural, organic hyaluronic acid. Now, we do get it in our food as well. But what it does, it really helps connective tissue. Um, it's a sugar molecule, and it holds 10,000 times more water uh, molecule than its own weight. So that's why it attracts, attracts water. Now... Um, Hyaluronic acid sometimes can attract water from the um, environment. And, um, well, it does attract from the environment. But sometimes, what I was going to say, if you're, um, let's say, in my, wait, yes, <laughs> if your skin, yes, if your skin is moisturized and the environment is really dry, it can actually draw out some of the moisture of your skin because it will go outside versus inside. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you're in a very dry environment, maybe you want to use a different moisturizer. But in general, hyaluronic acid, you know, it it's usually safe, you know, attracts like normal conditions. Unless, like I said, very, very dry conditions. Then it could be doing the opposite. But it's... Usually, does not cause any allergies. It's, you know, I never heard of that. Um, now, like I mentioned, you know, it can be synthesized in the lab, which is, it is the same quality as usually organically, and it's usually more environment friendly to do it that way than like synthesizing, getting it out of like chicken beaks or something like that, you know, especially for vegan. And I personally don't like any animal products in my skincare or you know I, I don't like like placenta serum stuff like that I kind of I don't know just not something I want to put in the face um, but you know it can be taken out of like plant stuff too plant uh, so, you know cells and then so they use bacteria to synthesize it to have hyaluronic acid and for skincare um, but a hyaluronic acid is kind of like see-through clear little sticky you know and if you eat it's usually you'll find it in the foods if you want to get it from the food like walnuts green vegetables citrus fruits liver different organ meats I know it's kind of gross but you know like that uh, that's what's gonna give you because it's gonna be helpful for your joints not just for your skin hyaluronic acid um, let me know if you have any questions do you use hyaluronic acid or not um, I think the best is to have it in a serum or moisturizer it's gonna stay on your skin like toner you know yeah it's not that important um, but Squalene is a, another, um, you know, alternative. Honey is a humectant. Oats. But hyaluronic acid is kind of like very popular and well known. So um, I hope this uh, gives you some more information about this ingredient. And again, any questions, I will appreciate, you know, post comment down below. Or if you just enjoyed this video, give thumbs up for YouTube algorithm. So I'm trying to get these videos it's kind of hard I don't know how to really promote it better but I'm trying so thumbs up really help and my blog is uh, yulitabrillian.com we can also see for skincare and massage services and makeup in Burlington Vermont and I'm on Instagram at yulitabrillian have a brilliant day